In this video, we will learn how to do MEP of a project. We will open architectural file of the building we did earlier. Link of the architectural file is attached in the description below. We will make drawings for plumbing works. We have a bathroom of size 7 feet by 6 feet. Here we will insert MEP fixtures. We will add a water closet and a sink in this bathroom. Go to Insert Ribbon. Now click on Load Family button. Click on US Imperial. If you do not have these libraries, you can download from the link in the description. Now select Plumbing from List. Select MEP. Select Fixtures. Open Water Closets folder. Select Water Closet Flush Tank. Now click Open. Go to Architecture Ribbon. Click on Component button. Our Water Closet family is selected. Press Spacebar to rotate Water Closet. Place it at the bathroom wall. Similarly, we will insert the family of Sink. Click on Load Family. Select Sink Folder. Click on Sink Work Family. Click on Open to insert into project. Go to Architecture Ribbon. Click on Component. Sink Family is selected. Now change the offset to 2 feet. Now we will place this sink at the bathroom wall. Press Space Bar to rotate. Our bathroom fixtures are ready for a MEP. Now save this architectural file and close it. Now we will open Plumbing Template to do MEP works. Click on New Project. Then click on Browse. Select US Imperial Folder. Select Plumbing Default Template. Now open it. We can see in the Project Browser. Plumbing floor plans have been created. Now we will link Revit Architectural File here. Go to Insert Ribbon. Click on Link Revit button. Select the architectural file we created for MEP Works. Open it. We can see that architectural file has been inserted as link. We will select this link and then click on Bind Link button. We want to add level and grids also from the source file. Select them and press OK. Now remove the link. We have all the data bind in this file. Now link is removed, we will change the view to 3D. Click on Small House in Quick Access Toolbar. Everything is grouped as one element. Select it and click on Ungroup. Now we can select individual elements. In Properties Browser, we have plumbing plans for each floor. Open Elevation View. We can see. We need to align our plumbing levels with the architectural levels. Go to Modify Ribbon and click on Align button. Click on Architectural Level and then Plumbing Level. Our levels are aligned. Now we will open our Plumbing Level 1. To start drawing pipes for cold water and hot water supply. We will add cold water supply to water closet. Select Water Closet. Click on the pipe image. Now we can draw pipe as desired. We will draw 3 inch into the wall then rotate. And draw to the end of wall. To see this pipe works, we will open 3D view. We can see our cold water pipeline has been drawn. We will change view settings to find level of details to see 3D pipes. Now this pipe work looks better. When we select pipe, we can see it is half inch PVC pipe. It has bend and then going into the flush tank. Now let's connect sink cold water pipe with this pipe. Select sink. Click on image of cold water pipe. Now click on pipeline passing from the wall. An automatic connection has been drawn by Revit. Let's view it on 3D. We can see sink faucet is connected on the existing pipeline. 
Now we will draw hot water pipeline. Select the sink in the plan view. Click on the image of the hot water pipeline. Draw it into the wall then rotate and draw to outside of wall. Let's view in 3D view. We can see our hot water pipeline is drawn in red color. And cold water pipeline is drawn in blue color. Now we will draw sewage pipeline. To take sewage from the water closet, select water closet and click on out pipe image. Right minus one feet in middle offset. Now draw the pipe outside of the project. Make sure it has slope down option. Similarly, we will draw a pipeline for waste water from our sink. Select sink and click on our pipe image. Type minus one feet in middle offset. Now draw a pipeline outside of the building. We will change the 3D view to elevation view. To see how this pipeline is drawn, for sewage four inch pipeline is going outside of the building. For wastewater, one and a half inch pipeline is used. We have completed our pipelines. Now let's view it in plan view. We are unable to see our sewage and wastewater lines here. Go to properties of this plan and then go to view range settings. Change the bottom to unlimited and view depth to unlimited. Now these pipelines are visible. Similarly, we will draw all the pipelines of water supply, sewage, wastewater, or drainage. We can make our plumbing works more presentable by changing the 3D view to realistic. This is the plumbing system of our project. Thanks for watching.